Welcome back to Driver Defense Team. We're excited to be here with you with your favorite Maurice Rice and Jim Naughton. We're watching a video today that we've never seen. It's called Body Cam Shows Police Confront Road Rage Suspect at Florida School. We've had plenty of our fair share of road rage cases, so we're excited <laughs> to see this one. Let us know what you think in the comments. You guys ready? Yep. Ready. Now at noon, police have arrested the man they say is responsible for a road rage incident. It sparked a code red yesterday afternoon at a local elementary school, and now investigators say he was a parent of a child who attends the school. Police arrested 42-year-old Vincent Rosa after they say he pulled a gun near Forest City Elementary School in Seminole County. We're told it happened after an argument with another person. Put the car apart for me. Listen to me, sir. You have a Please. That's fine. I put it in park. Okay, that's I'm fine. no threat. That's You're fine. You're taking the word of what, someone I'm not you taking, don't know. I'm not taking anyone's word. Okay, no. What I'm telling you is we have we have a complaint that a firearm which was presented, okay, at a school. You understand that? Uh, did I present it at a school? I just pulled in. Look, oh, so, don't you guys have cameras? All I need you to do is step out of the car, sir. And this guy can run me just, off the road and just, drive away. Where's no, no, he at? We'll Where is he at? Where is he at? He drove away already. Mother, not listening to me. You gotta You're not going to address it because he's done. I've answered all your questions. Can you answer mine? What I need to do is remove Back your to call. Bravo. Okay. Traffic. And then we'll discuss it further because I, I need to remove you from the fire. I'm pushing the button. Okay. 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 I know I'm brown and you guys like f***ing shooting us. God damn. I want to f***ing get my son Relax. and go home. Relax. That's what I want to do. Right there, he would have been on the ground. Right. Immediately yeah. on the ground. What I need you to do is relax right now, okay? To prevent getting yourself in any trouble. Okay. Trouble for what? This doesn't for need, what crime? Doesn't need to elevate. For I what crime? She just doesn't need to elevate. <laughs> Pulling we can, we a gun. Can bring it down. Can you go get that motherfucker who ran me off the road? Are you gonna do that? Did you call anybody for that? Answer my god question. Listen, sir. Answer my question. You're gonna force me to do some things. I don't what are you gonna do? I want to say for the record, this cop automatically is a badass because he just told him. You're going to force me to do some things I don't want to do. <laughs> that is your warning. Never a good sign. Yeah. yeah. It's like you don't want to see me when I'm angry. <laughs> I do like the strategy of speaking softer, though. Mm -hmm. That's a good strategy when people are getting, like, out of control. For sure. Especially you got a Captain America muscle tee on. What are you going to do? For what? Am I threatening you? I you my hands are down. behind my back. I need you to calm down. Just calm down and we'll figure it out, man. Things happen and you get frustrated. It's normal. It's a normal. He can commit a crime. No, he can't. He just ran the Red light ran me up the road. You haven't done shit. We'll, we'll, oh we'll God, figure that out. Oh my God. God. You're not going to figure out shit. You guys never figure out shit. You fuck with me and criminals can drive away. Okay. <laughs> Listen, what's your name, man? My name's Vinny. Vinny I have a license here. Can I reach for it? Or are you going to shoot me? <laughs> Take it easy. You're okay. threatening me while I'm picking up my son at school. It's a bait. Listen, listen. Calm down. You should hit that, maybe don't relax. <laughs> I'm not calm. I'm sick again. Yeah, by you guys. Yeah. You, you see my demeanor? We can work through this. <laughs> we can work like through this. Irrational. All I know is the guy who just ran me off the road was just away. That's what I know. From my perspective. Runs red light. From my perspective. Is that against the law? Fine. That, no, it's not, it's not against the it's not, law. It's not okay. It is against the law. But listen to, well, listen to what I'm saying, okay? From my perspective, all I have is this information. I've got, what, what, I've where'd got, you get that information? Uh, listen to me. Listen to me, sir, for a second. I'll let you talk. I've got parents screaming. He's like Lusa. I've seen that someone presented a firearm. What parent? Okay. Show me him. Show me my accusers. Parents and teachers. That's, that's that... multiple. Like okay, show people. me him. Show me my accusers. So that's what I'm responding Ten to. people told you that? Multiple people. I didn't say I, I want to see my accusers okay. right now. That's that's the law. I took criminology. Ooh, I can see my <laughs> accusers. Who are yeah. Um, we'll they get, all do. We will get to the point. I want, I know, I want that information sent you. Need, you got you to calm down. I am calm. I'm calm as f***. That's how I talk. I hate to see you not calm. This cop is amazing as far as temperament. I'm wondering, too, like, does he have backup? Are they going to search the car, ask about the gun? Yeah, like, once you have him out the car, like, you know where the gun is, if he hasn't, like, <clears throat> identified where it is now. I'm assuming the cop knows that the gun is in the car. He's already separated the guy from the gun, which mm -hmm. is in the car, so he's good. There's multiple people, okay? Okay, I want to see these multiple, multiple people this isn't about what you want. driving. Get the f*** out of here. You guys are liars. Multiple okay. people. I am not a liar, and I want to hear these liars lie to my face. <laughs> That's what I want. That's what There's I want. There's multiple people okay. that are screaming at him. You keep saying the same shit, okay, but, but I haven't seen multiple people. There's a people. process. Where's your ID at? In my pocket. I told you that 10 minutes ago. Let me have that, please. <clears throat> In America, we're allowed to have them. That's right, you are. Yeah, we're allowed to have them. Not allowed to run you off the road. Not allowed to run red lights, but he's gone. That's a petty offense versus you pulling a gun on somebody. Can you get with... Don't chamber my... Staff, when it find out what happened. Can you get with staff, find out what happened. 
Yeah, I mean, one thing is that this suspect keeps complaining that the person who cut him off, nothing's being done to him. A, I, I don't know that we know that to be true. He could be being talked to by other officers. But if he ran a red light, which is what this suspect is saying, that's a petty traffic offense, at least here in Illinois. The response to that isn't pulling a gun on them. <clears throat> that's either a misdemeanor or a felony, you know, depending on the circumstances. Right. Also, if you're at or near a school property, you'd be much more concerned as a police officer about the children, especially with somebody who's like in an agitated state with a gun than you are about somebody who... Ran a red light. Is so, that common sense? Right. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Be a responsible <laughs> gun owner. You know, like in response to somebody cutting you off or running a red light, you don't pull out the gat, Tyrone. Like, <laughs> no, you don't do that. So you just like, again, he, he drew the attention to himself. Now he just doesn't want to deal with the heat on him. So. Yeah, just really escalated the situation. It's just like a road rage incident. Like, just be like, thank you, sir. Get, do the thumbs up. I'm a big fan of the thumbs up and, <laughs> and move on with your life. Right, right. And when he exited his car, I mean, did he, it looked like he might have put hands totally. on the Totally. Like officer. if this was in Illinois, he would have been charged with an ag bad to appeal. Right, right. I've Which, seen it for less. Yeah. Right. Yeah. He right. definitely like pushed the officer with the door and then he got out like, you know, come at me, bro. Yeah. Can I get my phone to let my wife I'm, know what's going on? I got some units here. It's on my door. I've got things trying to figure out what the hell exactly happened. I just know I was directing traffic. Am I being arrested? Because this is against the law. You can't hold have a gun. Right now, you're not free to go. You have 30 minutes. I know law. I went to college, not jail. <laughs> <laughs> I would say right now they're totally within that reasonable amount of time. They're alleging he pulled a gun on somebody. It looks like on school property, if this is where it occurred. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he said his son was right up there. This looks like the school building. It looks like the school parking lot. That's a very serious allegation. He's even making threats right now. Like, I would go in the school. I know he was maybe talking about it in a different context, but yeah. that kind of raised... My eyebrows, too, to be like, all right, man, like you're angry, you're agitated, you're talking about going into school, you have a gun. Right. And I mean, you're talking about, like you said, on school grounds. And I mean, here in Illinois, at least, there's that enhancement. It's a firearm enhancement. And if you're within, I believe it's 500 or 1,000 feet of a school, uh, you're looking at an enhancement to your criminal penalty. So it goes mm -hmm. from maybe, maybe even a Class A misdemeanor to somewhere in the felony range. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not sure about Florida. Yeah. I think, like, if you basically just showed a gun to somebody in this instance, it would be an aggravated assault, which would be a Class A right, misdemeanor right. here. But, yeah, your sentencing ranges could be enhanced or maybe even the class could be upgraded because you're on school grounds. Mm -hmm. And Honestly, they're probably just canvassing, talking to witnesses, and, you know, officers that you don't see on camera. Yeah. You know, the kind of determine if they're going to be able to, like, let this guy go or should they arrest him based right. on what the witnesses observed and what their statements are. And I know it's hard in these contexts, yeah. but sometimes it, it's really smart, too, <laughs> if people were to realize that everything they say is being recorded on these body cameras and a judge is probably <laughs> going to see it not like the way that he is talking to officers. I mean, you can do yourself a big favor by being kind and cooperative to you know, to a degree, not like this guy. Yeah. Yeah. The last couple of videos that Derek and I did, we talked about like how it's all the way that you handle things. It's all the way about you approach it. If the officers came up and he was calm and was like, you know, that guy like cut me off, you know, maybe I reacted poorly, whatever, but just calmly like discussed it and stuff. It would come off way better than this, especially if he does get charged and then the judge mm -hmm. watches this. You're thinking right. to yourself, this guy's angry. He pulled a gun on somebody. He's very close to a school. Like, you're on the officer's side here because of his attitude. And, yeah. I mean, when I was a prosecutor, we would watch these videos, too. And, you know, if a person was asking for a reduction on what they were charged with, I mean... I would just be denying this request. Right. I don't need to talk yeah. to a police officer at all. I know the answer. Right. Why should the prosecutor do you a favor in this case? I want this lane line here and tell you the truth. That's what I want. No, he's not secure. He's just very upset. But, uh, yeah, the, the weapon is secured. Uh, they got to find a crime okay, to accuse me. Yeah. All right. 
I gotta find a crime to accuse me of. Yeah, how embarrassed are you if you're this guy's son? Like, you're just trying to get picked up, and then he pulls a gun on somebody, causes a code red, the whole school is shut down, now all these parents are in line to pick up their poor kids. This kid's gonna have to, like, transfer districts after this, because... <laughs> this is just so <laughs> unnecessary. Yeah. Um, my son's probably in there scared. You put that in the, in my front seat, passenger seat. Yeah. Right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why are you taking my shit? Dude? I'm not taking it. I'm just no, putting you're it not. He is. He's putting it in my car. On my Why? Section. I'm putting it away for a second. I'm putting it in a safe location, okay? This is still a school, man. Where's the, did you guys let him go? That's what I want to know right now. That's my question. I've answered all yours. All right. Is my accuser here or did you let him go? You're not under arrest. I'm securing you're not right putting now. that on I'm me. I'm putting it on you, and if you're resisting, if I'm not arrested, under arrest, you're not putting that I'm on me. I'm securing you. You are under arrest. What safety? Putting it on you. Okay, until we figure out what's going on. Oh I'm my God! Him. Oh my God! <laughs> if you're not, I am suing the ultimate. You're police detained, line. okay? You're I'm not under arrest. You're detained. For what? Until we figure what's out what's going on. What's my crime? God damn it! We don't know yet. We don't know yet. You don't know yet. We don't know yet, but we don't know yet. But while I figure it out, I'm detained. Does this seem right to you, Mr. Barnett? It does. To detain me. It is an update to a story we first brought you as breaking news yesterday. Police say it all happened during an argument near Forest City Elementary School. No one was hurt, but now that parent is facing charges. News 6's Catherine Silver joins us now live at the jail in Seminole County, where he is now being held. Catherine. Yeah, Vincent Rosa just faced a judge here for the first time this afternoon. We are learning from his arrest report that both he and the victim in this case have kids that go to that elementary school. Officers say when they encountered Rosa, he resisted when they put him in handcuffs and was acting belligerent. And he did show the victim the gun, if I'm not mistaken, from reading the affidavit. Vincent Rosa shook his head side to side as the judge read some of the accusations he is facing out loud Wednesday. The 41-year-old is facing charges of aggravated assault and having a weapon on or near school property after what police are calling a road rage incident in the pickup line Tuesday. Looking at the bond they gave him, they gave him a no bond, which, you know, here in Illinois, there's been such a change in the way that, you know, we don't even call it bond anymore. Pre-trial yeah. release or detention. Here, I don't. What do you guys think? Do you think they would release him pre-trial under our new law? I guess it would depend on what class of felony it is, right? Whether or not they could try and detain them, and then basically the state would have to prove that the presumption's great that he committed the crime and that the complaining witness, like the other person in the road rage incident and or the community is at um, is in serious danger. That could be based on both the facts of the case and the individual's criminal background. That All that being said, I doubt that he would be detained here in Illinois based on this. What do you think? I'll let you know when I wear a black robe. <laughs> we're, but, all, we're all trying to figure it out here. Yeah. Notice they didn't uh, <laughs> charge him with resisting, though. So. Right. Yeah. 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 yeah, the bond statute just changed here September 18th of 2023. Mm -hmm. So it hasn't even been a year. I think we've all done detention hearings, mm -hmm. but right. um, it's definitely a learning experience, I think, for everybody, the state, the defense, and the judges. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, to me, it looks like he's getting charged with misdemeanors, I would guess. I don't know. Maybe the weapon offense could be a felony, but it'd be weird to bond on that and no bond on the other right, one. Right. An arrest report obtained by News 6 reveals Rosa was behind another parent stopped at 434 in Sand Lake Road when a no turn on red signal was on. The driver told police Rosa was upset and yelling behind him. He says Rosa sped up to pass him, and when he turned into Forest City Elementary, he saw Rosa holding what looked like a gun. The report says the driver told the assistant principal and the school was placed on code red. He did make some kind of threat to 
A threat made while en route to the jail that's written into court documents was also mentioned by Rosa's attorney. If I knew I was going to be arrested, I would have shot him twice. She had this to say in his defense. It was a joke. He said it was a joke. I understand. It's a funny thing to say at that time. Good old joke defense. Rosa is being held here on a $10,000 bond. Altamont Springs police say they did find a handgun in his car. It was tucked between the center console and the driver's seat, according to that arrest report. They say there was not a bullet in the chamber, but there were 14 bullets in the magazine. Not the brightest crayon in the box there. <laughs> it's like y'all said, like, you know, he just kept talking, like, talked his ass in a bad position. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's do grades. I think pretty much there's only really two players here, right? The defendant and the police officer. Right. right. All right. Um, let's start with the defendant race. What's your grade? Captain America, I give an F. <laughs> Attitude was just, oh, how about the other guy, you know, that ran the red light when, like, he pulled the gun on him, for one. I'm um, all about, like, you know, responsible gun ownership. And, dude, like, somebody cutting you off is not a reason to to whip it out. The you know? gun, you mean. Yeah, yeah, the gun. <laughs> the gun, of course, the gun. And then, you know, you're talking in, like, you talking that cash trash, like whatever, like I should have shot him twice. You ain't even had a round in the chamber. You are not you are not that guy. So sit down, take your F. Well, I'm gonna also give him an F. I'm gonna give his pants an A for staying <laughs> up on him. I have no idea how that happened. But also, yeah, an F for the same reasons as Maurice. I mean the attitude. Um, you know, like we said, police, prosecutors, judges see these body worn cameras. And I mean, I understand that. You know, interactions with police can be nerve wracking and aggravating at times. Although this guy, I bet he would have been let off maybe with a warning, maybe some type of pettier charge if he would have just cooperated. I'm not saying that there's not instances where the police unfortunately do something, you know, not right. But in this instance, no, he, he could have just cooperated. But uh, got to find out where he got his pants because I'm going to need those <laughs> after the holidays. <laughs> right. Yeah, I mean, whenever we give grades, we think about it from a defense attorney perspective. Mm -hmm. Like how easy would it be to defend him in court or how difficult did he make our job from that perspective? I would say an F. A, he never denied doing it. B, they found the gun within his reach. Um and see, like Jim was saying, while the video was playing, his whole attitude. So, like, even if you didn't think you could defend the crime, could you maybe show this at a 402 conference or sit in, you know, an office with the supervisor from the state's attorney's office and say, this guy deserves a break? And all of those things are a no. And, you know, again, not to mention his son, his poor son, mm -hmm. oh, you know, yeah. was probably so embarrassed, probably had backlash for this. And it's just because of his dad's really poor attitude and, like, bad decision-making. So I would Definitely. give him an F. Um, what would you give the officer? We'll start with you. I'm going to give him an A. I mean, he really uh, he was trying to de-escalate the situation, I could tell. Uh, he, you know, from the part of the body cam video that we saw, I think he was very reasonable with this guy, giving him a lot of chances. Um, you know, put in a tough position, but honestly, I... I probably would have put him in cuffs way sooner than he did. So, agree. What do you think? Shouts out to the popo, uh, the popo on this one. Like again, calm demeanor the whole time. Uh, when the dude started, you know, getting out of line, never yelled once. Quickly told him, "Dude, you're gonna force me to do something I don't want to do." And that was that. The dude again kept ramping it up. The cop didn't meet him there. He just stayed on an even keel. Knew he had a job to do and saw it through. So I give the cop a day. I totally agree with everything you guys said. I also give the officer an A. I mean, I think that we have seen officers react a lot worse in like this with less, yeah. especially oh, yeah. when he got out of the car. He basically hit him and he didn't say anything about that. He didn't charge him with anything about that. Right. Could they have charged him with resisting? Yes. Would it have stuck? Maybe not, but like didn't even do that. He stayed super calm when the suspect was getting hyped up. He lowered his voice mm -hmm. and, you know, they treated him respectfully, even though he they wasn't giving them the same respect. So sure. at the right. end of the day, too, I think that they did their investigation and they got what they needed to to charge him. So they did their job and I'll give them an A. 
All right, there you have it, guys. That one was pretty easy for us to grade, but let us know if you disagree in the comments.